Learning what those looking to start a family should know about IVF. I think the goal of IVF is to help more and more couples achieve success. It's time to focus on your health. Okay, let's speed up. So I'm teaming up with the best local experts to provide you with the latest information. Well, I'm ready. The best tool you have is to be educated about it so you know what works for you. And a healthy dose of motivation. The goal is to feel better. Cheers. To empower you with the right healthy habits. If it affects the quality of life, let's get some help. And set you on the path to living healthy. Okay, moving on. Today's How It Works is all about something that many couples trying to start a family are familiar with, in vitro fertilization. It's also known as IVF. There's a lot to learn about what's involved, so I'm meeting up with an expert to find out more. I am here at the Fertility Centers of Illinois with Dr. Jennifer Hirschfeld Citron to talk all about the process of IVF. I feel like we just need to start with the basics, and that is who should consider doing IVF? So when we think about IVF, we think about couples that have issues with infertility, and particularly women who have very low egg counts, women whose tubes are blocked, men who have very low sperm counts. We've really expanded that definition, and we include couples, same-sex women, same-sex men, single men, single women, all of which can benefit from IVF to achieve their pregnancy goals. Is there criteria they need to meet before they start moving forward? So ideally, before you proceed with IVF, we've done some baseline testing. We get a better idea of somebody's reserve is going to be. So we have a better idea of how they respond to the medications. So we can counsel people accordingly for expectations. So we've done everything we can to optimize our success. So when a woman is coming in to start the IVF process, I would imagine they're a little apprehensive. It's the fear of the unknown. The idea of it, of the injections and the medicines and the process, is very scary. And is it painful? It's about a week and a half of injection-based medications. And so although injections are sort of odd to take, the way that they're administered to sort of pinching a little skin in the stomach, most women will tell me it actually was not very painful. And we are here to really support them as they go through the process. Well, that's great. So let's talk about the process. Can we do that in the exam room? Yes, please. Okay. So I think the biggest question for most couples is the success rate. No, of course. And I think what's cool is our success without question has improved over time. When someone is very young, we think of max or peak success, about 60% per transfer. But now with technology like embryo testing, regardless of a woman's age, we can reach that success, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Really amazing. Wow. This is the exam room where probably a lot of time is spent by the doctor, the patient, technicians. But let's take it from the top, the first step in the process of IVF, and that is growing those eggs. Women to get eggs to develop, it takes about two weeks of injection-based medication. Every month, we have a set number of eggs. I always think of them as like a high school class of 20 kids, the valedictorian ovulated. Another 19 die off in our body. Next month, there's another group. IVF prevents the die off, so we get all these eggs to grow. After this time of egg growth, I would imagine there's a lot of blood work and ultrasound monitoring. Does that happen in this room that here? That happens, exactly, in one of these rooms. So we can look at the number of available eggs. We can look at how they're growing, what their sizes are. So we can adjust those doses. They're coming almost every other day for vaginal ultrasound and blood work. So then when the eggs are ready to be retrieved, where does that happen and how does it happen? So when it's time for egg retrieval, that's done in an operating room. So it's done with anesthesia, so what we call like twilight. So if someone's having a colonoscopy or their wisdom teeth, very similar type of anesthesia. Um, the procedure itself is about 10 minutes. We look at the eggs under the microscope. We identify those that are mature and able to be fertilized. And then we fertilize them with sperm. Five days later, typically the best embryo is placed within the cavity. So I think what we're gonna take away from today is how IVF works and that it's a really great way for couples to conceive. Yeah, I think the goal of IVF is to help more and more couples achieve success. And so just knowing and learning what to anticipate I think makes the experience less daunting. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.